Hey everyone, I'm sure you clicked on this video to find out how to replace your RAM or to put it in for the first time. So without wasting your time, we're just going to get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do before you replace your RAM is to turn off the PC. Once your PC is shut down, switch off the power supply at the back of the case. There's usually a small switch labeled O and I. Flip it to O to turn off the power. After you turn off the power supply, you can unplug the power cable from the back of your PC and this ensures that there's no power going to your system. To get to the RAM, we're going to have to take the side panel off of your case. Personally, I find it easier to replace RAM when the case is lying flat on its side. Okay, when you replace the RAM, you have two clips. One here, and one on this side. So in order to get the RAM out, what you need to do is push away on one side, and then push away on the other side. And we can see that the clips are out compared to that one. And all you need to do is grab it, lift up straight, and it's out. Same thing here. One clip. And then two clip. Push. Lift it up. And you're out. Now you can see that there are four RAM slots on the motherboard. You might be wondering which slot should you use if you have two sticks of RAM. Well, this information is usually indicated on the motherboard itself, and you'll see labels like DIMM A1, A2, B1, and B2, and these will help you identify the correct slots to use. Sometimes the motherboard will also indicate which slots to use first, like you see here. So if it's not clearly labeled, you can always check your motherboard manual, and it will specify which slots to use based on the number of RAM sticks you're installing, whether it's one, two, or four. However, every motherboard is different, so it's crucial to refer to your specific manual for the correct configuration. Each RAM stick has a notch on it. These notches correlate to the notch right here on the motherboard. Now you can see that there is a short side and a long side to the RAM stick. And you'll see that there is a short side and a long side on the motherboard. Before you put the RAM stick in, press the notches away to open it up. Then grab your RAM stick, line up the notch, place it in the slot. Once it's in the slot, take two thumbs and press downward. It's going to take a little bit of pressure. You hear that click? That means it's all the way in. We'll do it again. Line up the notch, put it in the slot. and press down with two thumbs. One thing I forgot to mention here is to make sure that the clips are in the notches on the side of the RAM as well. Now that that's done, we're gonna put the case upright and put the side panel back on. Then we're going to plug the power supply cable back into the power supply and we're going to flip the power supply switch to the I position which will turn it on. That's basically it, but I want to get into more of an advanced but necessary step to get the maximum performance out of the RAM that you just bought. Once you turn your PC on, keep pressing the delete key so that you can get into the BIOS of your motherboard. Now that we're in the BIOS, you see that the DDR speed of the RAM is set to 2,666 megahertz and XMP is turned off. So we need XMP to be turned on. It'll be different for every motherboard, whether you're on Intel or AMD, but it's generally called XMP. Turn it on, press X, and then hit yes to save the configuration and your PC will restart. 
now that XMP is turned on, you'll see that the DDR speed is set to 3600 megahertz. So we'll hit X, hit yes, and it will restart the PC and go into Windows. Now that we're in Windows, I want you to press Control Shift Escape to open Task Manager. Go to Performance and then click on Memory. When you're in Memory, if you look at the bottom, hopefully you'll see the amount of RAM installed, how much is being used, and your speed. And that's it. Easy, right? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.